Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of McClabe chapter 9 on ANOVAs. And when you read this problem, you'll see that we're talking about a, a new automated handling system was introduced in a plant and the management thinks that the workers are getting too tired and so they're taking days off. Uh, their absentee rate varies day by day depending on how many days they're working. So the, the test is to see if there's a variation in the number of workers or the percent of workers that take a day off. And we have data collected over five random weeks. So in essence here, we've got two factors. We've got the days of the week and the weeks. The days of the week, that's what we're concerned about. That's the treatment or the columns. And the weeks or the blocks are the rows. So let's jump in. We're going to click on this and we have our data there. I'm going to click on the rectangle and open in StatCrunch. Okay, we're in my stat lab and we go to stat where the hypothesis tests are located and we find ANOVA and we go to two-way, but we're stymied. ANOVA and StatCrunch wants the responses in a column, the row factor in a column, in other words, the, uh, the blocks, and then the column factor in a column, which are the treatments. And our data in this problem is not structured that way. So I'm going to cancel out of that. So we need to rearrange our data. And we'll use the data of range. And now we want to stack the data. We want to take the columns and just highlight all those. I'm going to hit Shift to highlight all five of those columns. We want to store the labels into days. And I want to type column just to remind myself that's our column value. And our values, I just like to put values and we can click compute and we have the basics there set up now we need to complete our weeks our rows and the way I do that is to highlight that control C control Victor control Victor control Victor and one more control Victor so we've got all five of the weeks okay we have our data arranged we can go back into stat ANOVA, two-way. We want to select our values, our responses, which is in the values column. Our row factor is the week, and our column factor is the days. We need to click, this is important, click the additive model there because we don't have replication. This is not a, a repeated measures two-way ANOVA. And we just click compute, and we get our ANOVA output there, and we can see in this particular problem, we'll click done on that, we're interested in the change in the days. So we look in the days row in the ANOVA, and we get the F statistic of 2.30 and the p-value of 0.1, which tells us fail to reject, which means there's insufficient evidence to indicate the mean absentee rate differs across the five days of the work week. The last question is, do we need to do a Tukey's on the days? And in this case, the answer is no. The Tukey is not warranted because on our days factor, the ANOVA is not significant. It's not less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we do not need a Tukey's to see if the days differ. Hope this helps.